Let me consider. Thank you very much. Feels good to sing nice and loud. Fill my chest up with sound. You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high notes? Today, but my father can cook very well too. I certainly know the basics of cooking. Please allow me to treat you next time. Food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. Hey, Sedeth. I've been meaning to ask you. What is your relationship with Lady Rhea? That is certainly an abrupt question. You're much closer to her than anyone else in the entire church. Certainly you're a good, upstanding person, but I can't help but feel there's something more to it. Supporting the Archbishop is my sole professional interest. Personally, I consider her to be something akin to a companion. A companion? Yes, as in a traveling companion. Friends who walk the same path toward the same destination. Hmm... Companion, huh? A companion. I guess that does sound about right, now that you say it. Though, I'll confess to being quite jealous. Not many people can call themselves companions of Lady Rhea. I do not know how she feels about it. Oh, come on. You must trust that she feels the same about you. There is no need for that sort of trust. My duties are the same regardless of her perspective. I consider you to be a companion also. A companion in fighting for the Archbishop? Certainly. Our goals are firmly aligned when it comes to that, are they not? You're right, they are. I suppose you and I could be considered companions in that sense. <laughs> I am pleased to hear my sentiment reciprocated. I rely on you a great deal, after all. More than most. Whoa there, what's all this now? Flattery won't win you any prizes with me, Sedeth. I do not flatter. I merely want you to understand why it matters to me that you be more cautious in battle. As your companion, it is my wish for you to be safe. Oh good, we're back in familiar territory, with you admonishing me. Don't worry, I'll be careful. I'll always try to live up to your expectations. So don't expect too much or you'll wear me out. <laughs> By the way, how delicious are the monastery meals, right? We sure don't eat like this back in the kingdom. I agree. If we could only grow more food on our poor soil and in the severe winter of the north. Oh, 
Oh, my favorite food. You've got to try this. This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. That looks appetizing. I'm getting the hang of this. That was helpful coaching. That was challenging. I appreciate your guidance. Quite intriguing. Thank you. Quite intriguing. Thank you. Quite intriguing. Thank you. Quite intriguing. Thank you. Let's do this again sometime, Professor. Let's do this again sometime, Professor. I'm always improving. Thank you for teaching me. So, I was right. You're too kind. <laughs> now I'm feeling a bit shy. I thought this was a test. I see how this works. All right, that's enough praise. Hey, that was useful. I thought this was a test. I thought this was a test. I see how this works. time. I learned a lot. Thanks for your time. Professor. Nice to be invited over. Mmm, that looks delicious. I think this might be my favorite tea. Thanks. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. People always seem to be talking about romance, but honestly, I'm just not interested in that stuff. Yeah. Wow. Professor. 
What are you staring at me for? I've been doing all my training. Professor. Hmm? Ha! Yeah. I see. Professor. What? This is really nice. Captain Gerald made this necklace for me a long time ago. It's a reminder of where I came from. Professor. Wow. What are you staring at me for? I've been doing all my training. Hot, hot, hot. Thanks for the tea. Invite me by again sometime. This'll be a piece of cake. Yeah, this ought to go smoothly. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Getting it, I think. Let's see you got this. I swear it wasn't in vain. I'm impressed. Next. I've made it my own. Just stop already. The roar of battle. Too slow. I'll end this quickly. You took me lightly. One of us had to die. I always was a quick study. <laughs> had to be done. The better to serve His Highness. Hidden talents. Oh! All for Lady Rhea. Still room to improve. Leave my thoughts. You fought well. Shall not stray. Thanks. Need to pull my weight. Thank <laughs> you. 
your trouble. Let's turn the table. I fight for one reason and one alone. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. Invigorating. Gonna need you to move! You knew the odds. Just stop already! Taking life doesn't phase me. Is that all? Stay down! All for Lady Rhea. Still room to improve. I'll make good use of this power. Let's see you dodge this! On to the next battle. Ah, still had room to grow. I'm glad I can count on you. I'm still here. I just eat by. Tragic end. Not bad at all. In the name of justice! It was the only way. Keep it up. I'll end this quickly. It is done. Onward. Let's keep our guard up. I won't back down. And nobody's fool. Allow me to demonstrate. I must lead them well. This could turn the tides. Hate me if you must. Seems I'm adequately trained. In the name of justice! I must steal myself. Impressive. End. I'm impressed. On my own. Oh! 
I won't stop here. Lightly. I won't back down. Yeah! And nobody's fool. I expect no less. You will regret this. Luck wasn't with you. I could learn from that. Professor, do you think Edelgard will show up? Well, well. It's been a long time, Professor. And hello to you too, Dimitri. Edelgard. I did not think you would actually accept my request. Call it a win. Well then, what did you want to talk about? I will get straight to the point. Why did you start this war? There had to be a way to change things in your territory without the need for so many senseless casualties. It may be hard to believe, but this is the way that leads to the fewest casualties in the end. Don't you see? How could I? Countless people have already lost their lives in this conflict. The longer we took to revolt, the more victims this crooked world would have claimed. I weighed the victims of war against the victims of the world as it is now, and I chose the former. I believe that I have chosen the best path, the only path. Even after seeing the faces of those who have suffered the ravages of war, you would still force them to throw their lives away for the future? You are obsessively devoted to this war and deaf to the screams of its victims. You cannot change the cycle of the strong dominating the weak with a method like that. You're wrong. That very cycle is exactly what I have devoted my life and my power to destroy. If after all of this, you believe the weak will still be weak, that is only because they are too used to relying on others instead of on themselves. Yes, perhaps someone as strong as you are can claim something like that. But you cannot force that belief onto others. People aren't as strong as you think they are. There are those who cannot live without their faith, and those who cannot go on once they have lost their reason for living. Your path will not be able to save them. It is the path of the strong, and so, it could only benefit the strong. <laughs> so you consider me strong, do you? Even if one clings to their faith, the goddess will never answer them. Countless souls will be lost that way, living without purpose. And I can be counted among those who have died that way as well. But that's why I must change this world, on behalf of the silent and weak. And do you intend to become a goddess yourself? Will you steal the power to take action from the broken-hearted masses you claim to defend? The ones who can truly change the way of the world are not the rulers, but the people. Pushing your own sense of justice and your own ideals onto even one other person is nothing more than self-righteousness. Maybe it is self-righteousness, but it doesn't matter. Someone has to take action and put a stop to this world's endless, blood-stained history. Do you not believe in the power of the people to join together and rise up? Humans are weak creatures, but they are also creatures who help each other, support each other, and together find the right path. I have learned that humans are capable of all that from the professor and from everyone in my life. I doubt a highborn person like yourself could know how the poor feel or what motivates them. This is nonsense, though I'm finally starting to understand how you feel. But that makes it even clearer to me that we can never fully understand each other. I feel the same. I finally understand. What you believe is right. Goodbye, Dimitri. Wait, Edelgard. There is something I must give you. This is for you. Use it to cut a path to the future you wish for. And I will rise up to meet you there. El? Uh. 
El! So it's true. You're really going away? Going back home? There's nothing I can do about it. It's all happening so fast. I'm as surprised as you are. El. Um, here. I want you to have this. El, listen to me. No matter how hard things get, you can't give in, okay? You've got to cut a path to the future you wish for, no matter what. It's... a dagger? Why would you give me something like this? Oh, um... I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to give you. Edelgard, what are you doing? It's time to go. Hurry and get in the carriage. Oh, I... I'm sorry, Uncle. I have to go now. I... I remember now. You gave me a dagger all those years ago. <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. I should have given you something that would have made you happier. Perhaps. At the time, I was quite flustered by such a dangerous gift. I left without giving you a proper response, and that was the last time we saw each other. True. It is a sweet memory, with a bitter ending. I'm afraid it will do no good to reminisce, Dimitri. That girl you knew back then is gone, as good as dead. But I'll tell you now what I wasn't able to tell you back then. Thank you, my dear forgotten friend. Because of you, I never lost my heart. As for the future, that will be decided in battle. King of Fargus, as the Emperor, I shall await your arrival in Enbar. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her.